Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Trent Zomkhali here. Welcome if you are a new person here. If it's the first time you see my face, welcome. And if you've been a baddie here, welcome back, darling. So, today's topic is quite, it's harsh. And I just feel like it's not really talked much about. The hands I'm doing this video. But, as you can see, well, today we'll be talking about toxic relationships. It might be... A romantic relationship family friendship whatever it is but i'll be focusing more on a romantic relationship and all of these tips that i'll be giving you you can use it on any type of relationship so yeah it's quite hard <laughs> and lucky enough i've never been in one but i've seen people go through that i've had friends and family members who go through toxic relationships and it's really bad hey so that's why i'm here to help you move out of those toxic relationships and it's quite hard but anyway let's get into it okay so i first want us to understand what is the meaning of toxic basically a toxic relationship toxic is a poisonous thing something that is um, very harmful to you to your emotions name it something that is actually very harmful and it's poisonous from the dictionary as you read it what is toxic it's a poisonous thing whatever it might be so a uh, toxic relationship basically it's my explanation of a toxic relationship is where the behavior of someone adds negative impact into your life it always um affects you in a very negative way and it's not nice you either like you end up just being you know they just pull off your mood you just not you yourself after you meet up with that person so toxic relationships okay so i think the first step that you first have to take you being in a toxic relationship i feel like you need to accept that you are in a toxic relationship that the person that you're dating or you're with or whatever is very toxic to you and that they're not bringing a good impact into your life basically so you need to accept first yes everyone can tell you your, your relationship is so toxic what's this but i feel like the moment you accept it that's when you accept okay you know what that's when you actually look at things in the relationship things that have been happening how he's been making you feel or how she's been making you feel okay yeah this is quite toxic this is not good for my mental health first of all if the person is being physical obviously they're not good for you because it might end up in a very bad way blood spilling and no one wants that okay so i feel like you first need to accept that okay the situation that i'm in it's not yeah it's not nice it, i can either come out alive or not alive or the other person you know so you first need to accept and tell yourself okay you know what yeah it, it's fine and it's fine to not be in a good relationship i feel like it's life and we learn as we go on in life so bad things are gonna happen meeting bad people is gonna happen you you know deciding okay no this is not good for me it's actually a good thing you know so it's okay to be in a bad relationship as long as at the end of the day you'll be able to realize no this is not for me and i need to get out asap you understand so i feel like but there are questions that you need to ask yourself before you accept before the acceptance part that okay why am i here you know what do you want from that relationship that's the first question that you can ask yourself okay i'm in the relationship first of all what made me get in into this relationship why am i here what do you want from this relationship so you might be there because of money you might be there because you want love you might be there for any other reasons only you know so i feel like you need to ask yourself okay why am i here and until you get that answer you know sometimes people there's this thing like okay we're just doing it for fun <laughs> i guess we're there for fun if that's your answer but if then there's no fun in the relationship then why are you there because <laughs> you got in by telling yourself okay i'm here for fun so if fun is not there then hmm, why are you there you understand so answer yourself that question why am i here what do i want from this relationship and if you cannot answer yourself um i think it's also a sign that you need to leave <laughs> some way somehow and another question is 
have you like how have you contributed to this toxic relationship you know sometimes yeah we do say um this person did this he did this he did that and you know at the end of the day i feel like we all contribute because he's not dating alone first of all you're two one so there is something that you might have contributed for him to be toxic or for the relationship to be toxic so what have you contributed to the toxicity of the relationship so it might be you not setting boundaries first of all i think i feel like that is the most biggest thing that people um miss i don't know they don't take it important set boundaries talk okay if something happens in the relationship or the guy or you do something and the other party does not like that tell them hey, no i do not like this and if they repeat it again say i told you or i do not love this or i do not like what you did to me so you need to set a boundary okay please if you do this, this is how i'm going to react and i told you that please can you stop doing this and if someone is not respecting your boundaries first of all it means it's wrong it's totally wrong we need to respect each other yes love it every but we need to respect each other's boundaries and yeah so you need to know what you have contributed to the thing so most of it as, as i've said it's you not setting boundaries or you stepping down like ah it's fine maybe he'll be fine or he will see that okay i'm not fine with the situation then he will change hmm you're not jesus christ you can never change anyone <laughs> you know unless you talk and explain to them and if they do not respect that well it means mm -mm, you're in the wrong place okay then another question you need to ask yourself is do you want to leave you know and i feel like a lot of toxic people or people who are in toxic relationships they they're in denial that's why i said you need to accept and once you accept it's much easier to answer yourself these questions and do you want to leave you know do you want to leave are you happy with the situation that you're faced with are you happy with the behavior that is happening in the relationship? Are you happy with um, him treating you that way? Or, you know, everything. Are you happy with everything? And if all the questions are no, that you're not happy with what's happening, I think, yeah, you do want to leave. You, you need to feel inside, you know what, enough is enough and I need to go. You understand? So, yeah, those are all the three questions that you need to ask yourself. And once you can answer those things, then you're going to move on to the second step, which is prepare yourself mentally. That's the second step. Prepare yourself mentally. I think any breakup, it's not easy. Um, obviously, you were emotionally connected to the person, I mean. You were, you know, attached in some way, somehow. You loved the person. Uh, I think even though you were there for fun, you know, they said, nah, we're just doing this for fun. I think at some point you will be attached to the person. So even if it was just for fun, in, yeah, mentally, something, there's something that happened and also emotionally. So you need to prepare yourself because first of all, it is not easy. Any breakup, I don't care if you're just playing or one day or what, it is not easy. And especially if you know, the relationship was quite long and you loved the person and I mean you you gave everything that you could and you stayed as long as you can. So it's obviously not easy just to detach from that person and having to find another I mean, imagine if you guys are used to talking every day and now you have to start a new chapter that we can't really talk every day. You need to find something else to do, you understand? So it's not easy. That's the first thing. Mentally tell yourself it is not easy, but you'll go through it. And then another one is, I think this is the biggest one. You need to tell yourself, I deserve more. I deserve best. I deserve the best. I mean, if someone is not treating you right, or, you know, I don't want to say princess treatment because that is attached to like material things and whatnot. Emotional um, treatment, if I could put it that way it's very important so if the person is literally not giving you their best that they can give in a relationship then you definitely do not deserve that you deserve more you need to feel like a queen and me talking like i'm not talking about material stuff hey him buying you this no i'm talking about all mentally spiritually um you know emotional 
you understand so you need to see okay this person is yeah he's not giving me the best and i can get really the best there are really good men out there like my husband <laughs> unfortunately he's taken <laughs> anyway you understand someone that supports you emotionally someone that supports anything that you come up with you know they show you the way someone that teaches you you know someone that is always there for you not only in you know problem days and whatnot but also when you're feeling good someone who's there to celebrate you you know that those people in a relationship but they're actually quite jealous of their partner and you're like mm, how was that because i mean like i believe you need to build in a relationship you know you need to build each other so it's like okay aren't we doing this together god the other one is jealous because hey my boyfriend has this now you're like hey that it's it doesn't make sense to me so you need to find someone who's there to be happy with you understand so you have to tell yourself the moment you accept you have to tell yourself hey i deserve better man this is nonsense i deserve better and you know what you deserve you know how you want to be loved you know how you want to be treated as a woman or as a man you understand so you know you deserve better girl and whew, the one that falls under preparing yourself mentally and the last one is uh you do not need closure you know when before you break up or whatever like okay you know we try to ask yourself what have i done you know where did i go wrong especially i think especially if someone had cheated on you you were like okay now i was doing this i was doing this everything he asked me i you know i was there i tried to do as you know good as possible like what was i missing and as like, you ask yourself what was i missing what did i do wrong did i not do what he wanted you, there's just a lot of questions in your head and just know that you do not need closure i feel like especially if someone cheated on you i do not care what i did not do the fact that you could stand up and go cheat on me means firstly you do not respect me secondly you did not you do not respect our relationship so for you to just even think of cheating that is a no-no so you do not need any closure i don't care what you did or what you did not do to this person they have no right to cheat on you okay i i like literally i hey there's no valid uh, reason for a person to cheat on you no matter what rather leave me okay and then you can continue to another relationship so you do not need any closure girl, okay you're fine you tried your best you did what you did if he had a problem with you he the first thing he should have done is come to talk to you and say okay you're not doing this i need you to do this or whatnot whatnot and then you guys communicate about it so you don't just stand up and then go cheat and then no uh, i'm sorry but i refuse okay so no matter what especially in toxic relationships i feel like everyone that's in there they feel like you know nah, man like i need to see what i did wrong this uh, you do not need closure the thing is that uh, mostly people who you know try to think a lot even though the person is very manipulative <laughs> yeah the partner is just very good at manipulating you yeah so it's a bye i ain't staying there okay <laughs> so the third step that you'll be taking in leaving this uh, toxic relationship is crying <laughs> i know this is weird it's grieving i i think in any relationship like i've said there is some sort of connection yeah there is some sort of um attachment you know so and especially if you guys have been together for the longest and i don't even know why you're not married yet like what 10 years <laughs> anyway that is none of my business yeah if you if you guys have been in a relationship for the longest and yeah now it has to come to an end you need to cry there's no way you're not going to cry as i've said no you were on a routine you always talk to this person you go out now you have to accept the new normal you are no longer talking on the phone and all that so you need to i believe in crying i'm sorry i don't care if it's bad good i will cry Sana. so i think you need to cry and i feel like crying helps you so much because you take away that pain you take away the load that has been on you you understand so crying will help you i'm telling you i'm the master of crying i'm telling you 
But yeah, I feel like you need to cry and grieve and be in the moment. I feel like accept, okay, you know, this is coming to an end and that's it. There is no turning back cry and accept and you know let your heart know okay you know what my heart we are taking out this person and they will no longer be coming here so you know it hurts because you loved this person and you guys had a pretty good relationship if i can say that but yeah no matter even if it was bad people still love you there are those people who ride with you born now whether you do bad or what so yeah you need to cry and grieve grieving is so important but for a breakup, I think I'll just give you maybe two to three days. Just cry two to three days. You can't be crying for the whole week for a boy. I believe mean, someone didn't marry you. I'm sorry, no. Just cry two to three days. Then on the fourth day, you stand up. Okay? So that is the third advice that you need to cry and grieve this relationship. You know, just tell yourself, okay, you know what? You went and buried it and it's no longer resurrecting. It will not come up from the dead. Because what you guys like to do, you bury stuff, then you go and resurrect them. Uh -uh. This one, it's toxic and you can leave dead out of there. So if you do not bury this one, you'll be the one buried at the end and we do not want that. Okay? So you cry, you grieve, you leave it alone. I believe you will put a tombstone on this relationship. There's no resurrection. <laughs> okay? There is no resurrection. Okay? So you cry, you put the tombstone, you leave it. It's done. Okay, so the fourth um, tip that I'll be giving is delete everything. Let go. Whether they bought you, I don't know, a phone, watch, necklace, whatever, or a ring, uh, yeah, whatever. Go throw it away. Go burn. If it's a t shirt, go and burn it. If it's a hoodie, plus one of we like taking hoodies, go burn the that thing don't even try to go and give it back to him don't do that he doesn't deserve it anyway i gotta give it to you now he does not deserve it go burn that thing please do not hold on to anything please learn how to let go and because the thing is if you do not let go of all of these things where you throw away whatever he gave you the time you see that memories will come back and the devil will come back and whisper to your ear, man, this person, can he want you to go and take a side? No, no. Burn those. I always tell people, like, please just go. I do not care how expensive it was. It is not more expensive than your emotions, your mental health. So go throw away that thing, please. Please just throw it away. And delete the number. Delete the number. And like a block first, then delete. Because you guys not intend is how you delete or you just block and do not delete the numbers. And then after some while you go and unblock, then you start to be you no know, this time you are bearing and putting a tombstone, there's no resurrection. You block, you delete, that's it. Okay? Delete everything. Go block on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere, block and delete. This process of blocking and deleting, that's where it's the tombstone face. That's where you're putting everything. Good they, they, there's no resurrection whether you like it or not. Okay. <laughs> so delete everything, let go, throw away the necklace, see those things. Hey, please just throw them away, okay? And mostly songs. Songs are, yeah. I hate those things. <laughs> if you guys had a favorite song, please delete it and do not go and listen to it. Do not listen to anything that he loved uh, or she loved, I don't know. Do not do anything that you did together, I think, in terms of music and whatnot. But if you guys went to uh, parks and whatnot, now you cannot stop going to a park just because of now it's you and him down. No, go with the next partner. <laughs> you get me. So, yeah, now on to the next step self care. After utility, after the grieving, after everything, now we come to self-care. This is, I, give, I said you grieve two to three days. On the fourth day, now this is where you feel yourself. Now this is where you, I get that part where I told you, you need to tell yourself oh, you deserve the best and you deserve more than what he's been doing you or giving to you. So now on the fourth day, that's why. That's where now you wear your big girl coat. I gave we cried, we did everything. <laughs> if you get me. So now this is where you wear your big girl things. 
you bath, you go take a shower, you become nice, you wear your earrings, go do your nails, go do your nails, put on makeup, go out there to play with other kids, go out there to play with other, get your lashes done, how huh? we did not talk, about, I'll talk about it at the end of the video, go get your lashes done, okay, this is, guys, we get what you for, the fourth day, we rock, we become the boss, you get me, so we self-care for now. And me saying self care, I'm not saying go and drink out there, you know, drink yourself to death because now when you are grieving this alive person. No. What I mean, self care, do stuff that are good for you and your body. Don't go and out and drink and smoke. No, that is not good for your body. First of all, you might end up in hospital. You understand? So, do what is good for you. Go eat ice cream, me, you born now. Be the best version of yourself and letting the world know well, you know what i've done this i've came out of this bad relationship and born and you're a winner you understand you have done it because like, you know what after you come out of your toxic relationship dm me on my instagram go regular present because that is an achievement baby people die in toxic relationships and i don't want you to go through that okay so self-care day the day you, re you reach to that self-care day dm me Okay, I'm gonna buy you for regular mental now. Let me do that meal out hunt. <laughs> okay, now the last step is find someone to talk to, find support. You know, uh go go back to that person who always told you, hey, leave this toxic relationship. That person who always told you but this is not good for you, this is not fine. Go to that person, like, hey girl, I did it. I came out of that relationship alive. I came out, out of the relationship being the best person that I can be. Like we did it. As I'm saying, it's an achievement. Because, hey, people can't make it out here. So the fact that you did it, it's a, it's a reward. <laughs> Get me? So find someone to talk to. Find someone to support you. You know, if yes, you can't treat to, you know, for days but not. But it can still, you know, be a bit not so nice during the week. So find someone to talk to. If you guys used to talk maybe 10 to 11, find a friend that you're going to talk to, you know. Distract yourself. Try by all means not to think about it. Even though it's not possible, but you get there. <laughs> get me. So yeah, those are all my tips on how to come out of a toxic relationship. And uh, I mean it. That, that is a toxic relationship and even through family it, i mean family it's so common family a people are toxic in families people are toxic you are but yeah i mean uh, the family just just buy you say bye to them block them okay so yeah i hope that this tips or advice will help you and i hope that you will take them and do just as i said and on the fourth day DMB okay and as I was saying look who got lashes look who got lashes Woo! as you can remember or as you should remember from my last video I get rid of me I couldn't do lashes so I came up with a plan I'm like I need to rock on this video with lashes how do they look I want I, I didn't even put makeup I didn't want nothing to distract you from watching my lashes <laughs> But anyway, thank you for watching my video. I love you. And as I said, I hope that this, all these tips, they will work for you. I do believe that they will work for you. And I wish you all the best. And I pray that God must give you strength to leave that toxic relationship. Because hey, we do not want toxic people out here. You know? So I love you so much. And thank you for watching my videos. And thank you for the love. Thank you for subscribing. And if you have not subscribed, why not? Can you please subscribe, my darling? You will not regret it. Definitely, more girl talks are coming. More videos like this are coming. Um, yeah, so I love you. <laughs> Thank you.